Peaceful Shaver here. Today I'm going to be using this brand new Ape Shaving. Uh, it's a 26 millimeter uh, Maggard's super high density two band. Um, I had uh, Quinn set it a little bit lower so it has uh, some backbone to it. Uh, Quinn Hammond made this for me in uh, Breast Cancer Colors. And we are going to be using today Black Ship Grooming. I don't see enough Black Ship Grooming. This stuff is a phenomenal soap. It lathers amazing. And this is uh, Shipwreck Cove. It's an aquatic. Really, really nice. Fresh sea air aquatic. So I'm just gonna, I've had this soaking. This is gonna be my first use. I'm gonna squeeze all the water out. It holds a ton of water in there. And we're just gonna take it right to a dry puck. So the sister brush to this will be given away soon. I will be holding a raffle. The way to enter the raffle will be to make a donation to the American Cancer Society, and then you'll be eligible to win that brush and others. And I'm hoping to have other things to give away as well. I'll give it a nice load here, and you can see there's tons of proto ladder coming out. This is going to be my first use on this knot and this brush. Just came in the mail today. It's huge. I'll tell you something. This is like the biggest brush I own. It's it's gigantic. Um, I got a big head. Look at this. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take. I'm gonna just gonna take some of this proto lather here. And just get a nice little base layer going. Put some water on there. Jesus, I could probably shave with this. <laughs> this stuff is great. Kelly Hogan. I believe he's in Beaver, Pennsylvania, I want to say. So, let's see. I'm dry my hands here. Holy crap. Right out of the box, this knot is very nice. This is a Maggard's 26 SHD. So there's definitely a ton of backbone on this brush. First use, so it's a tiny bit, a tiny bit of scritch, but not much. I love a nice big handle. I kind of, I hold my brushes like this, Italian style, hey, like this. So, to me, this is extremely comfortable. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna put some more water in here. A little divot. Just trickle some water in. And I'm just gonna splay. Very little funk. I tell you, these new generations of knots, the way they treat them, they gel them, and they, they, they come to you pretty much ready to use out of the box, where before, back in the day, you had to take forever to break in a, br a brush, and now they kind of come pre-broken in a lot. I'm going to say that's going to serve my purpose. What do you think? Put a little bit more hydration on here. Just dip the tips. Just another layer of water. All right. Dry my hands here, or rinse my hands. Is there anybody out there that makes more of a mess when they shave than I do? My wife would like to know. All right, what are we gonna use today? Well, I want a beautiful shave. So, 
the one blade Genesis always, always gives a beautiful shave as long as it's got a fresh blade in it. Uh, don't know how many uses I have on this blade, but it feels fine to me. So smooth. One Blade Genesis. My absolute favorite face shaving razor. Strictly face. I don't use it on my head. It's just so natural the way my your hand kind of just falls into this razor and just the grip you get on it is just it's just so it just feels so natural you know I thought it when I first saw it and it had this and I'm like how comfortable is that gonna be but it just fits your hand everything about this razor I love I had the one blade core Hated that razor. Gave that one to, my wife didn't like it either. Gave that one to my daughter. I think she likes it. It's too light. All right, just gonna do a quick rinse. So when I'm doing this, this rinse between, um, when I do this rinse in between passes, I'm not taking everything off here. It's just that there's some hairs left behind. I just don't want those on there. Also, it's a brand new brush. And, you know, sometimes hairs can come out of a brand new brush, although it doesn't look like it's lost a single hair yet. So, so I, I leave that layer of slickness on there. Okay. Just go put some more on. Really comfortable brush. Good knot. Beautiful handle. Love the color. Customer service was great. Ape shaving. It's Quinn Hammond. And the soap. Oh, beautiful aquatic. Real, super easy to load. Super easy to lather. Got a little bit of a badger funk there. Not too much. don't want my videos to be like an hour long. <laughs> I know I can't sit through long, long videos, so I'll try to get through these shaves as quickly as I can and make them effective for me, though. All right, that's good. Good enough for a second pass. All right, uh, cross grain. Oh, it just feels so nice. I just There's something about how the... When the blade in this razor travels across your face, it almost feels like it's kind of, not pinching, but like, I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of grabbing your skin and it's just really making this really smooth pass and it just feels really good. Like, like really feels good on your, on your 
face. I don't know how else to explain it unless you've used it. Tons of slickness from the soap. Plenty of residual slickness. Lots of cushion. Uh, black chip grooming is one of the easiest soaps to lather, I think. Apologize if you hear the noise in the background. It is unavoidable. <laughs> oh, that feels so good. This really, really feels good. The, I love the feeling of this, this razor on your face. All right. It was just, what a, what a pleasurable, pleasurable shave. Just a great, a great brush that works. A great, Soap that just works. And this razor is just always works, always gives me BBS. Yeah, this, 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 uh, knot does not hog the lather. The flow through is fantastic. Plenty, plenty of soap left in this brush if I wanted to do another pass on my head which I might do, I'm not gonna do here. I might do in one of the groups. All right. Yeah, 12 minutes, I'm starting to get better at these. Okay, money pass. And I'll tell you, I get BBS with a lot of razors, but that BBS, how long it lasts, depends on the razor. Nothing lasts longer than this one. I'm BBS like 12 hours later. Like I'll go to bed at night and I still feel BBS. Gonna be the last shave on this blade. Starting to tug a little bit. These blades, these FHS tens that um, the proprietary blades for the feather and also the Autostrop, um, they don't last very long. You get three shaves, but that's about it. I feel so good. Fool's Pass. I'm gonna take the blade out so I remember for next time that it's time to change it. Oh, so blade removal, that's it. Just pulls right out and to go in, it just pushes right in. Look, 
I'll show you. Just kind of push it right in from the back, and you just hear a click. That's it. It's in. Pull it out. Pull it out. It's done. Throw this into one of my got many of these blade banks. This one came with something. I might have got that from one blade. I don't remember. So let me just rinse down here. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you something. Always BBS with the one blade. My skin feels amazing. Quality, quality soap. Let's take a look at the matching aftershave here. Alcohol, water, witch hazel, aloe, vitamin E, menthol, fragrance oils, and essential oils. Uh, that's the matching splash. I'm not even going to bother with the uh, Lucky Tiger today because this one has witch hazel in it and aloe. Just going to do my face for now because I'm going to shave my head later. Oh, God. No burn. BBS shave. Guys, thank you for watching. Peaceful Shaver out.